What's up guys, if you're enjoying the content on my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, drop a like. What's up guys, so in today's small video, I'm just gonna go briefly over how to import pictures um, into Affinity Photo uh, on an iPad. So, um, <clears throat> right here, um, I like to upload my raw images straight to my camera roll on my iPad, and you can tell they're raw images so they all say raw. Um, I was trying to see if I had any that said JPEG or like didn't have anything raw on the bottom, uh, but most of the pictures in my camera on my iPad are raw pictures. So I just selected one at random um, just to demonstrate and it takes a minute for it to load. But then once it opens up, it opens up similar to camera raw for Photoshop. Um, and then at the top, you can also see my settings for the picture, uh, what lens the picture was taken on, um, it also gives you a variety of options on the right side for making your initial adjustments before you really dissect the picture and start making deeper edits. Um, <clears throat> but uh, on the side you have like your exposure, your black points, your brightness, contrast, clarity, uh, your saturation, your vibrance, um, you have your white balance and underneath that you also have your temperature, tint, shadows and highlights, um, and you can also remove like any vignetting but with any of the other sidebars. So this column is just like the basics and you can see like you can turn it off and on and swipe left or right for before and after. Um, which I end up doing that quite often. Um, and then I make small little adjustments to get it as close to perfect as I want the picture to look or as I envision it. And then from there, I just keep tweaking until I find something right. A lot of people always ask me like, what presets do I use? I don't really use presets. Um, every single picture is different and requires their own like little touch to them. Um, so like right here, you can remove the vignetting and you can see how much brighter the picture gets um, once the vignetting is removed. And that's pretty much like how I initially start off like every single picture that I edit because I don't use Lightroom or Capture One. Um, I just edit straight everything straight out of Affinity Photo. So uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.